let's um, just have a quick look at our checklist. I'll just talk about it. I'll talk about this unit as a whole, and then um, and then we can proceed with these examples, and you can get back to work. So I'll just wait till everyone's listening. It's important. Okay, we've got a um, a pretty sh pretty sharp unit here because a lot of these skills we have done before. All right, so. Um, quadratics, hopefully we're going over stuff and you're remembering it um, and we're feeling pretty confident in it. So where you can see what, what we've got in our checklist, like the white box would be one lesson and then the shaded parts are going to be the next lesson. So today we're going through uh, 2A.2 and 2D.2. And it may seem like we're doing it in a bit of a disjointed order, but what you're going to see is what we've just learnt is really going to connect with what, we've, what we're going to do now. Okay. Noah, Seb, listen please. And so then on Friday's lesson, you'll see we've got three things we're going through, all right? But, you know, one of them only has one question, one of them sort of sum and roots of, uh, sum, and, sum, of sum and product of the roots. So there's lots we're going through, all right? But hopefully it's stuff we've done before. Hopefully we're, re we're making some connections um, and it is year 11 maths, okay? So you can expect it to be pretty quick. We do need to get our last test done by the end of term. Any of the stuff that's new, like you'll see, we're doing, we're spending whole double lessons on it. Okay. So with that in mind, let's have a look at uh, this here, graphing by completing the square. So I've just got these four dot points to begin with. Okay. Firstly, a quadratic has either this shape opening upwards or it has this shape opening downwards. And we call that shape a parabola, parabola, parabola. Um, so if A is greater than zero, it's going to open upwards. Okay, what that means is if A is positive, it's going to be a happy face. If A is negative, it's going to be a sad face. It's a good way to remember it. So A is always the coefficient of X squared. What is the number out the front? Okay, in our first example here, what's the number out the front? It's positive one. It's invisible. It's arbitrary. You don't need to write it, um, but it's positive one, which means it's opening upwards. This one's going to open upwards. The vertex. And I'll put the vertex on a graph in a moment to show you so you can remember what that is. It has coordinates H, K. So whatever the value of H is and the value of K is, they're your X and Y coordinates of the vertex. We also call that the turning point, um, but that'll pop up a bit more. And then obviously, as with any function, the X-intercept occurs when Y is zero and the Y-intercept occurs when X is zero. All right, that's the case with any function. So we're going to do all these things to come up with the graph of this quadratic manually. And we can use our calculator to support us by putting that in our calculator as well. So I'm going to complete the square over here. We've got x squared, take 2x, take away 15. Now we don't have it equal to anything. We don't have it equal to zero. So it's not the exact same process. There's a very slight difference. We still need to add half of b squared. So b is minus 2 here. So it's minus 2 on 2 squared. And then we've got minus 15. Now we don't have an equal sign, so it means we can't just add it to both sides. But what we can do is we can, we can add it here and then subtract it here, okay? Yeah. It's, like, it's like this, 15, okay, I can have 15, and then I can say that's equal to 15 plus three, take three. Okay, that's all I've done, I've added three, and I've subtracted three. I've still maintained equality. This is still equal to this. It's the same expression. So here we've added minus two on two squared, and so then we need to subtract it. We're maintaining equality, Sam, with the top step. So then we're ready to complete the square. What we're gonna have here is x squared take two x plus, um, now the negative we can disregard because it's squared, and then over here we're gonna have take 15 and take one. Here we're completing have x take 1 squared, take 16. Okay, so we're just completing the square as we were doing, but rather than adding it to both sides, we're going to add b on 2 squared and then subtract b on 2 squared. That's it completed. We've completed the square. Okay, so let's um, complete the square. Done. State the coordinates of the vertex. Well, in this circumstance, the value of h is 1. And the value of k is minus 16. All right. So we're always looking at that number. So it's x take 1. So the number is going to be 1. And then we need to bring the coefficient with that one because we've got plus k 
in our general form and over there it says minus 16 which means the value of k is minus 16. So that's our vertex. Find the axis intercepts. Well, let's do the y-intercept first. y-intercept occurs when x is 0. All right, so remember, we've got two values. This is all y here. All right, and what I've got here are two different ways of representing the same function. Let's do it with this one first. So we're going to have y equals 0 take 1 squared take 16. So we're going to have 1 take 16, we'll have minus 15. The y-intercept is minus 15. Look here though, of course that's true. Here, these are the same way of representing, uh, different ways of representing the same quadratic. If we put x is 0 into this equation, minus 15. We can see the y-intercept just looking up here, or we can put x is 0 in here and solve it. All right? Now, the, uh, the x-intercepts occur when y is 0. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to, again, do it with this one. We've got x take 1 squared equal, uh, take 16 equals 0. This is y, isn't it? x-intercepts occur when y is 0. So I'm putting a 0 there, and then we're solving this equation. Move the 16 over the other side. Square root both sides. And now square root of 16 is plus or minus 4. And so then our roots are 1 plus 4 or 1 take 4, 5 or minus 3. And we've got all of the information we could possibly need to put it on a graph. So I'm going to just list the information here. Firstly, a is greater than zero, so that means it's positive. We've got vertex of x is 1, y is minus 16. We've got the y-intercept is minus 15, and the x-intercepts are 5 and minus 3. Okay, that's all the information, and we just need to put that on a Cartesian plane. So, here we go. Um, let's do the roots first. We've got x is 5, so maybe there and minus 3 there. That's where it's crossing the x-axis. We've got the y-intercept of minus 15, so there, and the vertex of x is 1 and y is minus 16, so there. And it's going through all of those points, so like this, you'll have a better scale. All right, so x-intercepts, y-intercept, Vertex. Vertex is the turning point, it's the bottom, it's the minimum or maximum if it's opening downwards, and that has coordinates uh, 1 and minus 16. This is the other thing you need to see, all right, and we'll, we'll be unpacking this a bit more, okay, is that the function is symmetrical about the vertex, okay, you can fold it in half, you can see this is a mirror of this side, um, so that the vertex is exactly halfway between these two points. All right, that's going to be the vertex there. So that's what you're doing in exercise 2D.2. You're completing the square, similar to the way we've been doing it. All right, just that thing there. We're adding it and then subtracting it. All right, complete the square, find the x-intercepts, and then graph it. X-intercepts, y-intercepts. Okay, and now the other thing I will say finally here is you can use your calculator to help you to graph this, all right? If I was to graph this in my calculator, it's going to pop up with this, okay? If I was to graph this in my calculator, it's going to pop up with this. They're the same thing, different ways of representing it. They, Paddy, they tell us different pieces of information. Okay, let's proceed. I'll hand out your tests in a couple of minutes so you can have a look at them. But hopefully we're sort of making our way up to 2D 